football and the lead. They'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four. On the move to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. Now a first down throw, Watson. Throw left side complete. That's Lindsey. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Back to throw. Watson completes it to Miller. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Watson's throw hauled in by Bell. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. from just shy of midfield. Watson, that's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Again, it's Watson. Right back to Njoku. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, check check now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third, Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, they've got the huge lead now. They have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw. Dawson dancing to his left. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Back to throw. Dawson. Wide open receiver complete. 
And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 31-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again to Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Again, it's Henry. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Sliding out of the pocket. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Looking to throw, Dawson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. This one from 35 yards away. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, the only silver lining on the other sideline, CD, is that they kept him out of the end zone, but still, that's another three points added on to this large lead. He had no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one. And even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize with points. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. A first down carry for Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll go down at the 28. Two yards, good enough for a first. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Nine-yard line, second and six. Back to throw. Dawson out to his left. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. Short completion, just four yards. And now two yards to go on third down. Back to throw again. He'll buy some time right. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Browns. Accelerating and off he goes. He's at the 40. The 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for Brian's TD. And that's the value of having a teammate that's got your back because it was nearly a disaster, but fortunately a friendly face able to fall on it in the end zone. Yeah, and I don't know if he was tired from all of that running or what, but he was unable to hold on to the football. Fortunately for him, Someone on his team wasn't too tired to find the ball and score a touchdown. 
fielded just outside the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Minnesota's offense takes over possession, and they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. This is Henry. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw. Dawson steps away to his left. Looking left sideline. It's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there. 48 yards. And the Vikings are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Hopkins with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. But well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. To the right side, complete to Miller. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Out of the gun, Watson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Slant route to Miller. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. To the air yet again, Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Watson on first down. And he's got his big tight end here. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, throw complete to Bell. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. On first down, it's Watson. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And now off to the races, down the right side. 20, 10, 5, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown.
Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense, and certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Carter hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap.